All right, everyone. Welcome back to the land of Kem. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, your boy is back, and I am coming in hot today after 10 days in the desert, having just returned from the 2022 Land of Chem Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Research Expedition to Egypt. And this was my fourth research expedition to Egypt, and I am incredibly excited to finally be back here in front of the camera to bring you all of this exclusive new research material. And I have hours and hours of on-site footage from all of the structures that we visited during this year's expedition. And I will be dropping all of those new long format documentary style videos here on the Land of Chem YouTube channel as soon as possible. But first, a quick recap and the announcement of four major archeological discoveries that I made while investigating these ancient structures on this year's expedition, all of which are directly related to my theories about the function of the Egyptian pyramids. I never thought in my life that I would be able to reveal something truly new of an archaeological nature about ancient Egypt, and I am so overwhelmingly grateful for the opportunity to be able to present these discoveries exclusively here on the Land of Chem YouTube channel. So allow me to preface this video and the others that will be coming up in the next few weeks by saying that some of the footage that I will be releasing was obtained during special permission visits to Abu Sir, Abu Ghraib, and inside of the Osiris Shaft. These three areas are typically inaccessible to the public, and special permission from the Ministry of Antiquities and Tourism must be obtained to be able to access these sites. Also, I have never moved one grain of sand in Egypt other than walking on it, so all of these discoveries are things that I was actively searching for and investigating, and I just happened to notice that no one else has ever mentioned or documented in any of the historical literature. So I am incredibly honored to be able to present these exclusive discoveries first here on the Land of Chem YouTube channel. So before I proceed anymore, a huge thank you to Yusuf Awian from the Kemet School of Ancient Mysticism for helping me arrange yet another amazing adventure. He is such an amazing friend, an incredibly gracious host, and just a wonderful person. So Yusuf, if you're watching, thank you so much. I had an awesome time, brother, and I will be seeing you again very, very soon. If anyone out there wants to support the channel, just go to thelandofchem.com. You can pick up a limited first edition print copy of the book. Grab yourself one of the new Land of Chem t-shirts. Either way, all of the orders mean the world to me. So thank you all so much in advance. And definitely follow me on Instagram. I did a two and a half hour live tour from on the Giza Plateau during my last day in Egypt, covering the exterior of the Great Pyramid in the Eastern Temple, the Central Pyramid in the Eastern Temple, the Third Pyramid, the Causeway down to the Valley Temple, and all around the Sphinx. Again, that video is live on my Instagram page, two and a half hour exclusive tour by yours truly from on the Giza Plateau. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for the intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. So the first stop on this year's research expedition was Saqqara with an investigation of the Eastern Temple and inside of the Pyramid of Winis. And I will be presenting the full on-site tour footage coming up in the next episode, including documentation of the layering and usage of the geology in the Eastern Temple and a video reveal of the sliding granite valve mechanism found on the eastern side of the pyramid casing that was first shown to me by Yusuf in 2020. I also have full footage from inside the Pyramid of Winis featuring the calcite crystal at the back of the chamber and some very unusual visual and acoustic effects that can be created throughout the structure. We also had a chance to visit the Step Pyramid Complex with an exclusive visit inside of the structure and of course, the Serapium of Saqqara. And again, I have full long format documentary style footage from all three of these structures coming up very, very soon. But first, here's a quick video to introduce you to the research team that joined me on this year's expedition. Of course, my good friend Yusuf Awian from the Kemet School of Ancient Mysticism and Dr. Muhammad, Professor of Egyptology and Archaeology, who also happens to have an interest in my work regarding physics, chemistry, and electromagnetism as related to the function of the Egyptian pyramids. I hope you enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 
Land of Chem Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Research Expedition is underway and I wanted to introduce you to the best research team on the planet. We have Dr. Muhammad, Professor of Egyptology and Archaeology and the one and only Yusuf Awian joining us to investigate the mysteries of ancient alchemy here in Egypt. And I you could not to be say the most illegal guy out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we get it legal, done, right? Legal, legal. <laughs> but I could not be more thankful and grateful for the opportunity to spend the day with these two exceptional men investigating the mysteries. Where is it? Of the Egyptian pyramids. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And next up on our research expedition was a full day exploring both the red and bent pyramids of Dashur. And yes, of course, I have full long format exclusive footage from inside of both of these pyramids coming up very soon. And don't forget the chemical analysis of the red pyramid staining part two is also coming up in the queue. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the land of chem here on YouTube and stay tuned. And last but not least, of course, I had two full days on the Giza Plateau. The first full day was inside of the Great Pyramid and exploring the external structures around the Giza Plateau. And the next day, we had a special permission, private access entrance into the Osiris Shaft. And you can see the entrance to that shaft system located here along the causeway of the Central Pyramid. And it may not look like much on the surface, but what lies beneath is more than 100 feet underground, and it is absolutely spectacular. And I have some exceptional footage of that entire adventure, as well as another chemical analysis to present regarding a coating layer that was discovered on the containers in the second level of the Osiris shaft system. So after ascending back to the surface from down inside of the Osiris shaft, we then entered the central pyramid of Giza, took a walk down the Valley Temple towards the Sphinx and the Valley Temple. All of that footage will be released here on the Land of Chem YouTube channel as soon as possible. But I wanted to get the following out first, and that brings us to the topic for today's video. Four major archaeological discoveries that I made during this year's research expedition. All right, discovery number one. We have the notorious collection bowl of Abu Sir an artifact that completely changed my perspective and inevitably changed my entire life in regard to ancient Egypt and the capabilities of these structures. And I can finally confirm discovery number one, that I have located the original inlet to this red quartzite conduit system. This has never before been shown or reported and it is a true archeological revelation discovered by me and released exclusively here on the Land of Chem YouTube channel. And ladies and gentlemen, you can see that inlet here. And that's correct, ladies and gentlemen, this is not red granite. This is red quartzite. And this is one of the ways that I confirmed that this is the same conduit system that feeds that collection bowl at the end of the temple. And just as I originally proposed, the inlet of this conduit system is located at the base of the pyramid itself. And you can see here in this image, this is the original base of the pyramid, and this is where the casing stones would have been located. So you can see that the inlet to this red quartzite conduit system was directly connected into this portion of the pyramid. So there is an integration between the function of the pyramid, the function of the temple, and the function of this conduit system running underneath the temple toward that collection bowl. And I have proposed that the collection bowl at the end of the conduit running underneath the black basalt floor of this eastern temple was collecting the sacred chemical that was being produced at this site and unfortunately the site has never really been excavated and probably never will however i have a whole lot more coming up on the abu sir and abu garab pyramid complex including the temple of Ptah, that will feature my theories about how the entire system operated as well as the footage from these exclusive special permission visits over the last several years coming up very, very soon. All right, next up, on to discovery number two and inside of the Central Pyramid of Giza, where I was able to confirm my theory about the possibility of a shaft termination being located in the upper northeastern corner of the primary reaction chamber. 
and I noticed this eroded shaft termination back in 2017. And after five years, I was finally able to see inside of there myself. And any of you who have been inside this chamber will know how high up this hole is. And you might be wondering, how in the hell did I get up there? Well, that is a secret that I will leave up to your imagination for speculation. But nonetheless, if they were to clear all of the sand and trash out of this hole, you would find the original inlet shaft that delivered sulfuric acid into this chamber. And on to discovery number three, also found inside of the primary reaction chamber of the central pyramid. I discovered a vein of iron oxide running through the entire chamber, which has been completely removed and filled in with modern concrete. And you can see the patching of that vein here in this image. And it appears that the filled in area that you can see here that's been filled in with modern tiling, it also appears that this was a huge iron oxide deposit connected to the vein running through the entire chamber, which would mean that the granite container and surrounding granite stones were housed inside of that iron oxide deposit. I have never heard this or seen this reported before, and I have exclusive video of that discovery coming up soon along with an explanation of exactly how this iron oxide functioned within the system. And just a quick reminder that brand new Fire Land of Chem merch is now available at thelandofchem.com. There's the all new fifth degree logo, a raw image of the central pyramid of Giza featuring the alchemical symbol for hydrochloric acid. And of course, the OG second degree logo designed by yours truly, a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle representing the red pyramid of Dashur featuring molecular ammonia inside of the structure. And don't forget, for anyone that wants to read the story behind the theory, The Land of Chem, an initiation into ancient chemistry through the degrees of the Egyptian pyramids, limited first edition print copies of the book are also available at www.thelandofchem.com. So if you want to help support the channel, just go to the website, you can pick up a copy of the book, grab yourself a t-shirt. Either way, all the orders mean the world to me. So thank you all so much in advance. All right, brother. We're all suited up and ready to go. All right. And Super excited. Let's this get is going. going to be awesome. All right. Without further ado. We are now descending to the first level. Okay. And last, but definitely not least, discovery number four from inside of the Osiris shaft system, also obtained during a private access special permission entrance into this ancient and unbelievably mysterious area of the Giza Plateau. And I discovered huge veins of iron oxide surrounding the container housings that are located here on the second level of the Osiris shaft system. So there are six housings on this level and every single one of them has a massive vein of almost metallic iron running across the ceiling of the chamber. And you can see here that this one is in the far corner on the second level and this vein of iron oxide branched out into this huge deposit here which has now been removed and it carried down into the floor underneath where the container was originally housed. So these huge deposits literally look like bars of iron running across the chamber ceilings. And I have not heard this reported or documented anywhere else. So this is the fourth legitimate archeological discovery that I brought home from this trip. And each one of these is a critical part to proving how I have proposed that these systems operate. And I'll be sharing the full exclusive footage from down inside of the Osiris shaft system, along with my theory about how the chamber and containers functioned. And as I mentioned before, another monumental chemical analysis of a coating material that seals the containers that are found on the second level of this Osiris shaft system. And I'll be sharing all of this information as well as the footage in a full expose on this ancient underground system 
a hundred feet below the Giza Plateau coming up here exclusively on the Land of Chem YouTube channel very, very soon. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, click that little notification button so that you get noticed when the new videos premiere every single week, and stay tuned. All right, and one last thing before I close. These pictures are from a special permission entrance to a site called Abu Ghraib. Now, I can't say the following is a new discovery per se, as these bowls, which you can see here, have been well documented on other channels. However, you may not have even seen or heard about this site before. And I have only found one other channel that mentions the original housings of these bowls, which you can see here. And I was able to get full documentation of these original housings, as well as the configuration of the three holes in each bowl in relation to these original housings. And I have a spectacular, exclusive video from that site tour coming out soon. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen, Abu Ghraib was not a pyramid at all, but this is known as a solar temple with a central obelisk rising out from the center of the structure. And there's also a perplexing calcite crystal hotep located on the eastern side of the temple. And it appears that there were originally 16 limestone bowls, each with three holes surrounding the central obelisk, each located on one of the four corners, the northeastern corner, the northwestern corner, the southeastern corner, and the southwestern corner. There is also another set of calcite crystal bowls, each with one hole, and these were originally coated with copper. So this is by far one of the most perplexing sites from ancient Egypt, and I have amazing footage documenting all of these artifacts, as well as my theory about how this structure operated coming up soon. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed that quick recap of the Land of Chem 2022 Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Research Expedition. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of what I have in store from this year's expedition. I have more new footage and groundbreaking research than ever before. And I'm hard at work to get all of this material out to you as soon as possible here on the Land of Chem YouTube channel, starting with a full tour from the Pyramid of Wanis and its Eastern Temple coming up in the next episode. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube. Click that little notification button so you get noticed when the new videos premiere every week. Trust me, you do not want to miss the content that I have coming up in the next several weeks. A huge thank you to all of the supporters, to all of the new subscribers, and to anyone that's recently purchased a copy of the book. It means the world to me. So thank you all so much. And if you want to help support the channel, just go to www.thelandofchem.com for limited first edition print copies of the book and brand new Land of Chem merch that is absolutely fire. Definitely check out my Instagram page. Again, I have a two and a half hour live tour from on the Giza Plateau during my last day in Egypt. It was an absolutely spectacular time. Everyone really enjoyed it. Land of Chem on Instagram and give me a follow. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for today's episode and I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now.